And why, Akio, why are you so <coughs> concerned with, with nuclear power? You said after Fukushima, you have, you've begun to learn so much more about, about nuclear power. What have you learned? Well, uh, Chris, I'm a layman of nuclear issue. But I have fortunate the, the, the no the top nuclear scientists. Now Hans Peter Dürr, Dr. Gordon Edward, or from your country Annie Gunderson. They're top of top. They immediately call me Akira. This is a serious issue than people think. And I ask everybody, what is the worst case scenario of this Fukushima? Quite a number of people. Uh, scientists told me, Akio, their concern is reactor number four, which I didn't understand. What do you mean by that? Then, now I understood fully that spent fuel pool of reactor number four, the second floor, there are 1,000 535 spent fuel rod in the pool. And if another earthquake comes and the building collapse or leak, leak of water drain, then that produces several times of radiation, say 137 than Chernobyl accident. So there were there were four reactor units at Fukushima that were damaged from the March 11th earthquake. And the first three <coughs> melted down, but the fourth did not because it was empty, except it had these rods, the spent fuel pool, sitting above the reactor on the second floor. So these scientists are saying that that is the most pressing issue, correct? Exactly. Uh, the fortunate or not, number one, number two, number three reactor uh, melted and happened within a pressure vessel and a containment vessel. But this reactor number four, all spent fuel rod in the pool, not within containment vessel or pressure vessel. So, in the sky, in the ground, if that crops, people said to me, more than 50 years might take to contain radiation. So during 50 years, radiation continue on. And, and the former Prime Minister Khan finally admitted a few weeks ago that his great concern of this reactor number four, if that happened, it may affect more than 50% of Japan land. But to me, much worry is not only Japan, but also neighboring country, and eventually uh, radiation reach out to your country as well. And during 50 years, continue, you cannot contain. So what would some of the effects be? This is the worst case scenario of the fourth, uh, the spent fuel pool tips over or the water stops circulating. What's going to happen? Well, uh, therefore is uh, again, uh, hydrogen explosion happen, or a steam explosion may occur. In whichever cases, the radiation is no question, is explode. Uh, then also, because there is no containment building, and no crane to remove the 1,500 spent fuel to the safety place, so, during that period of time, laborers cannot approach closer to there. They're all shut down. Um, so what, what do you think some of the, what, what's the short-term solution here? What does the solution well, have to be? Uh, that, uh, Chris, I have been thinking all the time and uh, telling to, uh, my government, Japan, and your government leaders as well, we need independent assessment team not associated with the TEPCO or not, independent, to see what will be best way to improve the situation or engineering structural element, which is critical now in case of reactor number four, more than nuclear uh, scientist issue, it's engineering structure issue.
So that is I'm pushing, I'm pushing to both sides, Japan and your government as well. But it's a matter of face-saving device. It's very difficult for Japanese leader to ask the technical support from outside the country. And this morning,